Mice are like chairs nowadays. It isn't enough that they do just the basics, they need to be able to do that and more in order to be chosen. A good mouse in 2021 must look good before you even touch it. Feel good the moment you do, allow you to accomplish more work with less clicks, and improves your chances on winning when you finish the work for the day. I'm Rafael from Hardware Sugar, and I might have found the best mouse which provides good ergonomics, functionality, and gaming precision. This is the ROG Chakram Core. Let's talk design. The Chakram is encased in a partially transparent plastic shell. If you look hard enough, you'll notice that the RGB logo is not actually the top layer of the mouse, like my Corsair Iron Claw, but instead is covered by a heavily tinted layer. On first glance, you immediately know that it is a gaming mouse with it's almost Johnny Quest or Minority Report futuristic car design. The subtle ergonomic element placed into the design comes from the extremely thin platform. Buying a mouse during COVID is hard because everyone's hands, just like mice, come in different sizes. And if you buy the wrong size, you regret it in the short and long term. I have fairly large hands and I made my mistake last year when I bought the Corsair Harpoon, which was way too small. Fortunately, if you have big hands, you are going to be right at home with the Chakram Core. It fits my hand quite well. One of the unique features of the Chakram Core is that your thumb is made to rest on an extremely thin platform or wing. Because of how thin it is, I would aim to make sure that this mouse doesn't drop. Nevertheless, it seems sturdy enough when I attempt to flex it. The grips of the mouse are carved into the mouse itself. You should always avoid mice with rubber pads, like my old Razer Death Adder because the adhesive will fail eventually and then you need to use super glue to stick them back on. The less moving parts, the better. The grip, however, isn't a textured grip as my Corsair Iron Claw. However, after long hours of playing FPS, I never felt uncomfortable when using the Chakram Core. What I must say, however, is that this mouse seems to accumulate sweat more because of the lack of a rubber grip. I wouldn't, however, say that I missed any shots this way or felt that it was a deal breaker. But if you have more than usual clammy hands, then you may want to keep this in mind or go with a mouse with rubber grips instead. I am disappointed, however, to see that the cable wire is not the ROG paracord or what I like to call the shoelace style cable, a cable which I found to be more attractive to look at and more natural to use. The cable which comes with a chakram is your your standard stiff cable, which may or may not snag somewhere on your desk. The Chakram is part of a new breed of mice which is capable of achieving NVIDIA's reflex low latency software. However, please note that in order for this to work, you must have the wired version of the Chakram core and it must be plugged directly into a monitor which is compatible with the software and you need to have an NVIDIA graphics card and you need to be playing a game compatible with the software. In short, it's a long checklist of things you need to have which makes this feature geared towards professional gamers rather than casual ones. I talked about the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency in our previous video review of the PG25 Q&R, which I'll link above. However, in summary, the software works by reducing mount's latency input so that if you left-click to fire your gun, the muzzle flash on the screen will happen instantaneously. If you haven't noticed the lag before, then you are just like me and most casual gamers. However, the lag does exist and it can be caught on high-speed cameras, which NVIDIA demonstrated in their explanation video. Although most won't be looking for this, the Chakram is nevertheless one of the few gaming mice on the market which has it and it's a good bonus feature to have even if you won't be using it anytime soon. Now let's go to my favorite part, the button placements. Mice are not just used for gaming now, but also for accomplishing work. If you look at my Corsair Iron Claw, it is a mixed match of various buttons which makes it both intimidating and uh, confusing to look at. With all of its buttons, however, it only has 8 switches. The Chakram Core, however, has the equivalent of 9 switches and it is not nearly as cluttered as the Iron Claw. This was achieved by placing a thumbstick. This thumbstick has 4 programmable switches, yet only takes up the place of 1. This is fantastic because you actually get more programmable switches with less space taken up. Using the thumbstick also is natural and uh, quite intuitive. Just move it up, down, left, or right, and you can program each movement through the Armory Crate program, which has never given me any problems. If, for instance, you are worried about your boss stumbling into your office space while you are looking at things, you 
shouldn't be looking at. You can program one of the switches on the thumbstick to instantly close all the programs in the background. A quick flick again will bring everything back. It's a lot of fun, especially when you want to take a break and you don't want to see anything on your screen in the meantime. The DPI button is at the bottom of the mouse, which seems to be standard now with ROG mice, and I don't support it. Simply because if you are gaming or working, why would you want to lift up your mouse and press a button and then test to see if you like that setting? In which case, you might need to lift it up again and press it again. You can, however, avoid the DPI button altogether and just program one of the programmable switches on top to act as a DPI changer. However, I cannot seem to find a way to program one switch to lower DPI and the other to increase DPI. This is irritating because that means you can only change your DPI in one direction. This is strange because I was able to do this before with the Asus M3 mouse. Let me know in the comments comment section below if any of you have a solution. As it stands, this is a compromising problem for FPS players who need to switch to sniper mode and back to assault on the fly. There are two RGB placements on the entire mouse. As I mentioned earlier, the lighting of the ROG logo is subdued due to it being hidden behind the plastic shell, while the scroll wheel is, uh, well, your typical scroll wheel RGB. This is unfortunate because the ROG Carries scroll wheel is much more attractive because the entire wheel is lit, as opposed to this one which is just the sides. The Chakram Core retails for 3,800 pesos locally or in the States for 70 US dollars. And considering a wireless iron claw is 3,950 pesos and the ROG wired carries is 3,100 pesos, I think you are getting a great deal for functionality here because of the thumbstick. If you're interested in the wired ROG carries, you might as well spend a little more for a bit more functionality at the cost of the full RGB scroll wheel. We have a full review of the wired RG carries which I'll leave a link at the bottom. If however you are like me and wires are a deal breaker then I would recommend you take a look at the iron claw which is just about the same price. However, you won't get the clean aesthetics of the Chakram or the NVIDIA Reflex Latency support. In conclusion, the ROG Chakram Core brings increased functionality with a gamer design aesthetic which is more subdued than most gaming mice. It is comfortable for most hand users, including large hand users, and it is in our opinion a well-priced mouse for all the features it offers, including compatibility with NVIDIA Reflex Latency Analyzer. We cannot give it a perfect rating because the wires always ruin the aesthetics of a gaming PC, and we hope to see more affordable wireless gaming mice with these functionalities installed in the future. With that said, we are giving the Chakram Core a 9 out of 10. Whether you are into intense gaming, doing spreadsheets, or just like seeing a more minimal gaming mouse on your desk, the Chakram Core is a great contender, and something you should look at if you are into buying a wired mouse. We want to give an extremely special shout out to our top fans who helped pay for this new teleprompter. Liam Bagnae, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ochia, and Christian Espinosa. Thanks a lot, guys. This is going to make producing content a lot faster. Stay safe, everyone.